Because I know no shame, I did it again. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel and the 25 days of Christmas challenge. Yesterday was a doozy. I did something, but he wasn't wearing any clothes. Why, why? He was also glowing with a bright light. What is this, extraterrestrial baby Jesus? It was very weird. <laughs> Maybe I went too big too soon. Because I love Hallmark Christmas movies, I decided to see if maybe the chat robot was more equipped to write me a Hallmark style script for a movie. Not only that, but as you can see on the screen, I have found a Hallmark movie bingo card. But before we start that, we are going to take a sip of our liquid courage. Do you like my cup? Isn't it cute? A picturesque mountain town is covered in a blanket of snow. The streets are decorated with twinkling lights and festive garlands. Oh, there's a narrator. I guess I... Do I need different voices? Um, uh... <laughs> Welcome to Snow Haven, the most magical place to be for Christmas. Then we're gonna pan over to a cozy cabin. Emma, 30s, is sitting by the fire in her cozy cabin, sipping a cup of hot chocolate. <sighs> Darn it, hot chocolate, I didn't get eggnog. She is a successful city planner, but she has come to Snowhaven for a break from the hustle and bustle of her everyday life. I don't know, I don't wanna cheat. I wouldn't consider this a crisis at work yet. We don't know if this is Emma's dream job yet, so I can't say that. Back to the narrator. Emma is a city planner who has come to Snowhaven to find peace and quiet, but she's about to discover that Christmas magic is real. Christmas magic, woo. Emma is walking through the snowy town square when she sees a group of children ice skating. She smiles and waves at them. Wait, 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 wait. Um, kids, darn it, they don't need help. As Emma explores the town, she meets new people and learns about the traditions of Snowhaven. Okay, now we're going into a Christmas shop. It's Jay. Oh, did I wait? Oh no, it's his coffee shop. Why does the story hate me so much? Emma enters a charming Christmas shop. She is greeted by the shopkeeper, Nick. Aw oh, man, Nick is in his 30s. He is a warm and friendly man who is passionate about Christmas. No wonder his name is Nick. Welcome to my shop. <laughs> Welcome to my shop. Can I help you find something special? I'm just browsing, but everything in here is so beautiful, even your eyes. She didn't say that. She just said everything in here is beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I love Christmas and I love sharing it with others. Ew, this feels so weird. <laughs> Emma and Nick talk about Christmas and their favorite traditions. They quickly realize that they have a lot in common. Emma and Nick form a special connection and they start spending more and more time together. Okay, now we're in snowy woods and it's daytime. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? No, <laughs> it's driving down snowy roads. Listen, this story is evading my bingo card. Emma and Nick go for a walk in the snowy woods. They hand in hand that's what it says. So that's what we're going with. They hand in hand and talk about their dreams for the future. Well, this is moving at the pace of a Hallmark movie. So I mean, they've got something right. Nick, I've always wanted to open my own Christmas shop, but I've never been brave enough to take the leap. Oh, someone reveals their dream job. He revealed his dream job. Okay, he wants to have a Christmas shop just like a one on the board. You should do it, Nick. You have a passion for Christmas and you're really good at what you do. Wait, he already has a shop. So does he want another shop? Is this shop not his? Is he an employee? Wait, shopkeeper? What is the definition of shopkeeper? The owner or manager of a shop. Nick is a two-time in liar. What's going on here? Thanks, Emma. That means a lot to me. As Emma and Nick spend more time together, they start to fall in love. But there's no kiss, so this doesn't help me. Emma and Nick are standing in the town square watching the Christmas tree lighting ceremony. I got a tree lighting. I got a tree lighting. They kiss under the mistletoe. Just, I got a combo. It says they were standing in the town square, but they couldn't have gotten there without strolling. So I've gotten another one on the board. <laughs> Emma and Nick have found love in Snowhaven. They have both learned that true magic of Christmas is in the hearts of those we love. The end. What kind of garbage? Uh-uh. We need a part two. Emma and Nick's love for each other grew stronger every day. They spent their time together exploring the snowy woods, decorating the Christmas tree, and baking Christmas cookies. Ooh, Christmas cookies? Baked goods! Yes, I got one! One day, Nick took Emma to a clearing in the woods. In the center of the clearing was a small white cottage. This is it, Nick said. 
This is where I want to open my Christmas shop. Emma smiled. It's perfect, she said. Nick and Emma spent the next few weeks renovating the cottage. They painted the walls red and green, hung Christmas lights all over the exterior, and filled the interior with festive decorations. On Christmas Eve, Nick and Emma opened the doors of their new Christmas shop. The shop was a huge success. People from all over town came to see Nick's unique and handmade Christmas ornaments and decorations. Emma was so proud of Nick. She knew that he had finally found his calling. Later that night, Emma and Nick were sitting in their cottage, enjoying a cup of hot chocolate. I'm so happy, Emma said. I can't imagine a better way to spend Christmas than with you. Me too, Nick said. You're the best gift I've ever received. Nick and Emma kissed under the mistletoe. Then they went to bed, dreaming of all the Christmas magic that was still to come. The next morning, Emma and Nick woke up to a surprise. The snow outside their cottage had formed a perfect heart shape. Is this a sentimental gift from the snow? Huh? 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 I think it is. I think it is. Snow doesn't fall on her heart. We got another X on the board, ladies and gentlemen. It's a Christmas miracle, Emma said. Nick smiled. It's a sign that our love is meant to be. Nick and Emma continued to run their Christmas shop together for many years. They became known as the Christmas Couple, and their shop became a popular destination for people from all over the world. Nick and Emma also started a family. They had two beautiful children, who they raised in the spirit of Christmas. Every year on Christmas Eve, Nick and Emma would gather their family and friends around the fireplace to tell stories about the Christmas miracle and to celebrate the true meaning of the holiday, love, giving, and joy. I did not get bingo. <laughs> But I got some on the board, so I guess it means that the story is kind of, sort of legit. I hope you have a wonderful day. Looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Remember, as we always say on our channel, that with God, all things are possible. And we'll see you tomorrow.